user guest experience. Um, Zulik is, uh, is mostly like a tree house. It's an elevated hotel uh, because of the mangroves in the area, which as you can imagine is the most valuable uh, piece of the ecosystem with all the filtering and, uh, and everything that does for the Caribbean and the corals. So what this does is giving us an opportunity to really um, actually to really um, generate vantage points and elements to, to explore and experience and, and, and bring in the level of surprise, which is about um, you know, being eating on the roof on a nest of the restaurant instead of within the restaurant or having like overlooking views to sunsets and, and amazing sunrises over the sea. Um, the idea is to kind of awake kind of the kid that we all have inside is about movement, is about discovery, is about promoting curiosity. Everything is kind of curved and organic in the language. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of life, it's like it's a transformation, it's not beginnings and ends. And, uh, and the idea is to kind of manage the, the, the flow of the movement and bring people to really want to discover and, and see what's next on, the, on their journey. Um, the rooms itself, I mean, Azolik is not just a, a space designer, but it's like more than 20 kind of uh, business divisions. I mean, there's ceramic design, there's like uh, vitrofusion, there's macrame, there's like uh, chefs, music. Um, so what you see here is like a bit of the, of the hands of, of all of those disciplines in order to craft this holistic design. That the unique piece of the bathtub will go with a different shower head for every room and different kind of elements that are like on, from the tangi tangible details into the actually intangible ones like when it comes for food or, or like uh, what is like sounds or even the natural pigments that are used in our fashion brands. Um, there's a combination also of three pillars, like the art through the Spheric Museum. Uh, we understand like art really connected to the hotel experience, uh, but art not like as a museum, as a deposit of art. Instead, it's the house and the home to really host uh, the relationship with, with contemporary artists that do understand ecology and integration with nature as, as, as what we do. Um, retail experiences, again, this is, uh, this is one of the, all the, all the outlets that we have in the hotel that you probably wouldn't expect to have a kind of a river in the middle. So it, it's, uh, it's also including uh, like collaborations and alliances with other brands like Bulgari or Dior. And, uh, and then at the bottom you, you see kind of a mention of the wellness. The spa is also a, a very strong part of, of our experience that we offer to our guests. Um, mixing this, this uh, knowledge of uh, ancestral technique and uh, Mayan clays and temascals, which is the kind of uh, sort of uh, Mayan sauna. So um, all of these elements uh, brought us to, to being invited to explore all the global destinations and uh, in the sense of uh, where we are here, like to speak about when uh, the Royal Commission for Alula invited us to open an Azulik in Alula. So um, the challenge here was like, well, there's no Caribbean sea, there's no trees, there's no, th there's no this jungle, no, there's the element. So the big question was like, how are we re reading the place? And I think the, the value proposal from us is that we're really uh, designers and operators. So we go to craft the whole experience from day one to the, to the last minute of the hotel when the, when the guest is really experiencing it. And what, that's, what that does is really like uh, getting us into, into really um, in searching how to create the tools to, to make uh, our, our creations real. Um, it's not just about the solution, it's about the process of how we get there. So we, we, we found this, you know, this incredible space, these incredible canyons um, with all these rocks and, and, and sand and um, an and, and invaluable like, heritage and, and history legacy. I mean, this is the site in yellow. As you can see, it's to the east of the Alula itself, like uh, on, the, on the wadi on the left of the image. And this is all this journey through time, so all these civilizations that have left like an, an amazing imprint on the, on the places. So those two canyons is like definitely not like a, 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 an empty desert. There's like when you zoom in, there's like million textures, there's like animals, there's like uh, a, a, ma a massive richness in the place from the, from the inscriptions and the, and, the, and the history and the archaeological kind of assets. So um, our kind of uh, learning from the place was really to go for the um, I understand that there was these invisible patterns of the, of the wind. The silence of the canyons in the desert in these areas was like broken when, when the trees were moving or the different kind of 
cracking of, of different elements. So that, that, that was kind of how, we can, how can we make visible those invisible patterns? How we can kind of use this power of, the, of this generation of, of movements, the, the, the inception of our, our organic forms and, and really guide us into, into this exploration, which is imprinted in, the, in some of the landscapes you just see in the central image. So that was basically together with some sort of learning and, and understanding of different concepts of, of nomadic culture, uh, abstract elements, how we could uh, mix all those and implement uh, a sort of an inception of the project. Like even you know, looking at the 360 variations of the wind within the, within the canyons, they, they find these compasses because of the thermal flow. So all of those things help us to really try to identify and as well, the, the duality of what it is, the, 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 the earth itself with the natural kind of fibers and the craftsmanship and techniques coming out from, from ancestrality and from community, whether to bring them to nowadays, but really to have this, this tension and this duality that happens in the, in the place when you look at everything that is in there. So um, the project itself is about like, uh, I mean, the site is about 101 hectares, but due to rockfall and flooding, um, it kind of uh, developable area is about like 50% of it, so about 50 hectares, and, uh, and, and it's about 24,000 GA square meters. Um, so what you see on the, the one on the top of the image is really the Easter Canyon. That's most of the, of the, of the villas, of the, of the part of the hotel. The western part concentrates the largest ones, about 400 meters each, and, uh, and, a, and a museum, the Spheric Museum, as I said, the component is really linked to the hotel on the mouth of the canyon. Uh, this project is, of course, like within the, the framework of the regional framework for, for Alula and par as part of the Master Plan 1 and, and is following the, the sustainability roadmap uh, with, with uh, aspirations and in, in, in definitely in certifications for LEED and, and, and other like strategies for gray water and, and solar farming. So we wanted to preserve the kind of uh, natural state of those canyons and the experience and as part of it, like really um, offering this, this, this respect with the scale of the place and, and this wavy kind of organic forms as a welcome lounge, a place where you just get, leave your car, get taken into something else and really like start your journey of like decompressing from, from the high road that you're coming and, and bringing, you know, into the magic of, of whatever the resort has to offer to you. Um, there's like about seven, 76 villas and we have, uh, sort of seven, six to seven types, typologies, which is the, the intention is to offer different, to cater for different targets. So you can visit one day, but then maybe the next year you go to another villa and your experience is fully different. Uh, these will be the classic ones, which is more about gathering, like stargazing and, and little groups. Um, and this one will be what we call so far the, the Canyon Villa, which is about 80 square meters. The, the, is a, the most number of ones is about like 26 of those. And uh, we, we ought to be prototyping this one uh, in, in, the, in the Middle East, like in the, in the coming months. Um, this, you know, the cluster around the canyons, they all preserve privacy and views. It's all about like having this permeable skin. I mean, this protecting you from the environment at the same time is like putting you in the place. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't go to these canyons. So we want you to be part of the ecosystem and connect with those spaces. There's this fluidity of spaces, but uh, you know, quality of craftsmanship and, and materials that really bring you down into the, into the earth, into the place where we are. Um, all, the, all the typology is the, 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 the spabulous, which is kind of bring you the opportunity to, to have a sort of a privacy of therapies and a spa with, within, the, within your, own, your own villa. Or the, the sold villas, because uh, we, we are like, with our R&D department, we're kind of exploring, we have this fab lab with prototyping and, and, uh, and robots and machines and also the, the research on materials for sustainable opportunities. And then we're exploring with the, with the salt brine coming out from desalinization on the, on the Red Sea as to kind of convert it into con construction products that will reduce the use of, of, of clinker products. So um, the all day dining, it's kind of the, the central part of what it is the, the really the, 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 the crossing of the canyons is in a strategic point for, for, for uh, vantage views and, and kind of uh, articulating both logistics and both like kind of the, the experience of, of the place to discover and it's kind of the meeting point, let's say, with outdoor pools and terraces to, to have a, a place to complement your stay in your, in your room. 
um, there's on the one of these ends of those fingers you can find actually the the, the spa itself, which is uh, is more like a, of a healing journey. I mean, linked with with what we're doing in Tulum, but um, you know, you go to a place, you kind of connect to the to the to the to the environment, and then there's different wet and dry rooms with uh, with, with all the kind of unique experiences that we, we can be providing on, on this environment. Um, and last, uh, we, we have the, the spheric version in, in Alula, which is uh, all these kind of elements that create these this, uh, um, moments of, of uh, hosting where we are like three to five workshops, which the idea is to, to really uh, craft both elements that are like part of the hotel, but also link with the community and the artisans um, to, to really kind of implement kind of these, these new techniques. This has also some retail units and as well as, as a restaurant, a la, a la carte restaurant on top, which uh, the idea is to, to really bring in kind of, uh, you know, the earth where we are with kind of the amazing uh, Alula uh, night skies and stargazing. Thank you.